What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exclusive interview with the owner of Hella Bad Broncos. We're gonna talk about where they started and what they're doing now to help the community of Austin. But make sure you stay through to the end of the video and let us know who you wanna see sit in the hot seat for the next video. This is a community carpool. Disclaimer. Bro, we have no, we don't know how today is gonna go. <laughs> we have lunch planned. And I need a hangar right. Are you originally from like Austin? Like you grew up here? No, I've been here 16 years and uh, I'm initially from El Paso. Grew up there, lived okay. in New Mexico, Colorado, a bunch of different places, Arizona. What started your Bronco love? I've always been a car kid, like growing up, like when I was one, two years old, I could take anyone's set of keys that would come to the house and tell them what kind of car it was for. Um, stuck them in outlets, electrocuted myself. It was up for real? No, it's a true story, yeah, <laughs> and it explains a lot. Yeah. Uh, when I was uh, 16, I was supposed to get my dad's Bronco named Papa Smurf, and uh, hard times fell in. He had to sell it before I could do it, so that got sold, and three years later, I went and bought my first early Bronco. Yeah, so I grew up with them. My wife, same thing. She grew up with her. Her and her dad travel across the country to different Bronco events in the Bronco, and they're from Maine. One day, I... Wanted, I needed to buy a trailer, and I bought a trailer from a guy. He had a one-bay shop that was up for rent. It was like, yeah, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And and it wasn't just Broncos, it was Street Marbles. I was doing that for like a month, month and a half, and all of a sudden just Bronco, Bronco, Bronco. They just kept coming, and I'm like, okay. And I was driving one day, and I looked at a billboard, and, and nothing to do with the name. I just remember looking at this billboard, and I was like, hella bad Broncos. Start, you started your business around these Broncos yeah, and other cars, right? But mainly Bronco. You find the love of your life through a Bronco, and then you end up on a professional race team that they're racing Broncos out in the desert, right? Yeah. Would you have ever imagined you would be where you are today and experience the things you experienced? No. I have no idea that this was going to happen and blow up the way it did. And just throughout the whole country, you know, going to all these different events and the people yeah. and, you know, it's, it's mind-blowing, you know, and... And it's a lot of work and stuff, but it it's a blessing. It really is that a vehicle creates that much of a community and it's so strong. And, and I'm glad that Ford brought this new one out so it unites a whole bunch of us, you know, from the old school guys to the new school guys and just keep the tradition going. So completely unplanned in the middle of our interview, how rude. Uh, Jesse, that you're too hot for the camera. No, right? we're too hot. We're too hot for the Cause camera. Because I didn't break the single one. The single one is still rolling, which is just in time. Yeah. Because uh, we're here at our lunch spot. So let's go ahead and get some lunch. Sounds good. United by Bronco, which is your event that you've put together for essentially all Bronco enthusiasts, right? So it all started when we started noticing kind of a, a divide with your old school guys, your new school guys, and like, oh, we don't want to have your sixth gen into our early Bronco club, which I understand that's early Bronco club. That's all they do. Right. But having the event where we can combine everyone, just make it fun for everyone and teach them how to Bronco is what we're really wanting to kind of achieve. And so the more we thought about it, we do Trail Hero every year, which is a huge event out at Huracan, Utah, Sand Hollow Park. It's amazing. Um, and that was kind of our inspiration. And we had a way to get into, hey, can we create an event out here? What does it take? And kind of start asking all the questions with which uh, Klein. And uh, that's how it kind of sparked. And so we said, screw it, let's do it. And we tried to figure out what's the best time to do it where we're not interfering with all these other Bronco events. Most of the stuff starts off at the middle March, 
and starts going on as the summer goes. It depends on what area you're in. So we decided the first week of March and uh, put it all together and started collecting sponsors, went for it, and it was phenomenal. I mean, it was great. Got such good feedback from the new guys, the six gen guys that have never been off road, and here they are doing some like legit stuff. And this epic terrain and scenery, it just, it was mind blowing. It worked out great. Aside from putting together and bringing people together around Bronco, you guys do some other charity stuff as well, right? We have, yeah, we, we've done uh, Willing for a Cause, which Tyler puts on, uh, that's Bronc Buster. Uh, that one's coming up in October, I believe, again. That's a good one where they take a, a veteran that's been wounded and can't get around as much. They'll build this epic off-road mobile chair for them, and that gets sponsored for that, that gentleman. And wow. while they can get around, doesn't matter what terrain it is. So we all come together and, and make that happen. And then uh, for the Lone Star Early Bronco Club, they do like a foundation for kids that they need a scholarship to help with their schooling or mechanics or whatever it is, but it's a scholarship program. And so we all donate that. There's raffles people bid on. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Whatever we can be a part of, I mean, we're, we're all down for that. I mean, that's, that's the whole point about this is to give back and use our vehicles to help attract attention. And so that's kind of what we do. Well, you ready to head out? I'm ready. I'm ready. It's hot. I need AC. It is freaking hot. I'm dying. This is your daily driver? My neck hurts even more that you said that now. So this just came in finally. This is our $300,000, $350,000 build. This is the Godzilla? This is a Godzilla. Roll case built into it. So we made an actual window frame that is harnessed with this. Bailey built, uh, we collaborated with them and he built cages and bumpers for Broncos and he also does restoration stuff. So I was like, you wanna do something stupid? This is what we're doing. Scorch was in a grass fire, and you can see it's melted. The turn signals, the front, oh, okay. all the paint bubbling, the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Bronco wet, like to simulate like a clear paint job, is sick. So future plans for United by Bronco, we're on, you're starting year three? Um, you gotta be there this time. That's a must or we're canceling the whole show. Oh, okay. No pressure. For yeah. <laughs> um, just really growing the community and bringing a bunch of sponsors to it. And yeah. so it makes it better for all the people that attend, you know, and it just, we don't just have a place where like your sponsor sits there all day and like hands out stuff. Like they're on the trail, they're, you know, amongst everyone out there and telling about their brand and seeing what they like and don't like. And so that's that's the biggest thing is I want to keep growing the sponsorship in that and the vendors that are part of it. So it just makes us all one. And that's that's what it's about. Um, I think that's about it for United by Bronco. We'll, we'll start posting stuff here shortly about what's coming up and start the registration and all that and just grow it. Okay. United by Bronco. We'll see you there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's interview with Jesse Ornealis from Hello Bad Broncos. I'll put links in the description down below to their social channels so you can go ahead and check them out for yourselves. As always, guys, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and let us know in the comments below who you want to see sit next in the hot seat. Till next time, guys, peace out.